Chris Millay here. I'm the sport manager at Civision, uh, interviewing, interviewing Roger from uh, Frost Bank. Would you uh, kindly introduce yourself a little bit? Sure, sure. Roger Salinas with Frost Bank. I work in the tools engineering department uh, with, in the IT area there. So we do monitoring of uh, our servers and applications as far as availability and performance. Okay. Uh, you tell me a little bit how long have you had Live Maps? Yeah, so we've been a customer of Live Maps since uh, 2009. Um, we also, at that time, uh, installed SCUM 20, 2007 R2, and so we have uh, were introduced into Live Maps at that time. Okay, and then uh, can you tell me a little bit what you're monitoring and how are you using Live Maps? I mean, wh wh where, where are the dashboards being shown? Sure, yeah, so we, we have a uh, operations department that we uh, primarily use the dashboard for, also our help desk. Um, that uh, basically they're, they're looking at this dashboard as far as our operations department 24-7 and so we have uh, more of our critical applications uh, that they're looking at and are able to triage as far as uh, drilling down and trying to find the right uh, where the failures are occurring and contact those individuals. So I guess consumers of the uh, dashboard are primarily our uh, operations department and our help desk but we also engage our infrastructure teams so our networking department uh, we'll, we'll log into dashboards and, and you know look at the state of their systems as well as our uh, Windows Server administration team and, and our application team. Would you say that overall the Live Maps has enhanced the ability that you use with SCOM? Yeah, it will. So I guess the biggest thing between Live Maps and SCOM is is we've uh, it's given us the ability to stay out of the SCOM console for the most part, um, particularly for our, our end users. So that way we don't have to educate them in, uh, as far as telling them where to go to and the web access in the web console within the native SCOM uh, web console. So we're, uh, we're definitely, you know, shifting everybody to the Live Maps uh, login page to where they could, you know, we have a dashboard set up specifically for those departments uh, where they're responsible for. And so everything else they just don't have to worry about. Uh, and so we build dashboards specifically for those groups. What would you consider your favorite feature of Live Maps? Since the, the latest version that introduced HTML5, uh, the web view of, of uh, Live Maps, we have the ability to view it through our mobile um, browser. So we could uh, don't necessarily have to log in into a computer or VPN into our workstations whenever there's an issue. Um, any one of our uh, employees uh, could, or managers could log in uh, through our, their mobile web device um, and uh, be able to tell the state of the environment pretty easily while they're on vacation or if they get bothered, you know, <laughs> for some crazy reason, um, you know, they're able to do that pretty easily. So overall, it's basically increased the visibility in Descom and then mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. probably have uh, uh, more users actually using the product since since the yeah. uh, HTML5 version came out. Right, right. So they're more comfortable with, um, I guess, navigating through it. Uh, we, we've made it easy for them to, to go to one area to then they could branch out from there. And um, minimizing, I guess, the tools that, that we've had to use, um, like I said, like the SCOM web mm -hmm. console um, and, other, and other different uh, applications that we use. Um, we're able to centralize them and then link out from there. All right, well, I, I, I think that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it.